The important outcome of this meeting is the endorsement of the um, regional ICJLR process uh, by the world body. It, it was very clear from uh, various statements from the Secretary General Ban Ki-moon himself. Um, there was uh, an overwhelming uh, support for the region to take over and continue looking for a solution for the crisis in Eastern DRC. Um, it was also uh, clear from uh, many statements made by various countries uh, at the meeting that the political track is the way to go. Um, there are not too many countries that favor a military solution. Uh, a number of countries called for a re-examination of the work and the report uh, done by uh, former presidents Obasanjo and Mkapa back in 2009 to see where things went wrong. Um, additionally, the, the humanitarian aspect of this, uh, because we tend to talk politics much more than anything else, but there are human beings, there are communities in Eastern DRC um, and a call for more attention and support to humanitarian action uh, was also echoed by, by many um, in the meeting. Overall, African countries, neighbors of the DRC, um, came into the meeting and contributed in a spirit of solution finding. Um, we were all looking for ways to move forward. Rwanda in particular through um, uh, President Kagame was very clear about the importance of understanding the issues, placing the problem where it really should be uh, so that we can find appropriate uh, solutions. He talked about uh, why it's critical not to delegitimize some of the claims coming from um, uh, citizens in Eastern DRC and um, therefore looking for ways to use the underlying causes, get a good grasp of the uh, root causes, and then move to solving some of these problems. He cautioned against um, superficiality in trying to find a, a solution to, to, uh, to this crisis. He talked about the cyclicality of this issue uh, we've been there before. This is where exactly we were in 2009. We were there back in 2002. And therefore, we must not be doing something right, uh, and hence the need to um, get a good picture of, of what is going on. So the need to pacify right now, but to move quickly to what is causing this problem to be recurrent. Um, the DRC was uh, also of the view that this is a time to look for solutions. That was uh, the, 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 the main point made uh, by the president of the DRC that, um, you know, a lot has been said and, and, you know, we will continue to debate different things, accusations and so forth. But he said that he came here uh, to New York to uh, listen to various views uh, in, in looking forward and how we move quickly uh, to, to, to a solution. There are several media reports and many other uh, things that are flying around uh, of European countries uh, sort of looking like they're still stuck in the accusations and they're still stuck in that aspect of, of just pointing, accusing fingers at Rwanda, saying that Rwanda is supporting the M23, yet there have been so much progress uh, since the M23 Mm -hmm. came up. What is your view about you, you, you are right. Um, looking at um, the overall spirit in the meeting, uh, there is a trend with uh, Western countries to, to go the accusatory route, which has been the case for the last um, now close to five months, four months at least. And it's not helpful because we, we risk not moving to a solution if we are stuck in, in um, accusing and alleging and you know, creating um, uh, disputed reports and, and so forth. This is what a number of countries have been doing for the last four months. 
Uh, but the tone in this meeting from the African side was, let's move to a solution. Let's take this seriously. This is a complex issue. We cannot waste more time um, in, in uh, pointing the finger. The, the, the blame game has been going on uh, for a long time. But it, it is a very serious issue. It's, it tends to characterize uh, some of the exchange that exists uh, between us and our partners, our international partners, the Western countries, that seem to want um, our own good better than we would, uh, we would be interested in our own good. And, and it's, um, uh, it's, 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 it's not, uh, it's not uh, a clean way of, 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 doing, of doing things. We, we see a trend with Western countries to want a solution that fits them, not a solution that fits the countries uh, that are concerned. Uh, we see, um, should I say, almost a colonial attitude of uh, looking at the, uh, at the African as a victim, as somebody who needs to be shown the way, as somebody who should be punished. Um, and Africans, by no means, want to support impunity. Uh, we want uh, justice. We want uh, to, to do things right. Um, but but we, we, we have a much more holistic approach to these issues. We've been there. A number of our countries have known extreme conflict. Rwanda has known genocide. We have experience. Uh, we know the region. We have the background. We have the history. Uh, so I think in all fairness uh, and in all modesty, we, we have much more um, to, to give in terms of finding a solution than somebody coming uh, 10,000 miles uh, away. And so it is, it is a problem. It, it's, it's not just on, on this uh, one particular issue. But I think uh, what is important is that we continue to talk to our partners that eventually uh, we will reach, I think by and large, um, Western countries really are looking for a solution. They're just not doing it the right way. I think the motives, um, you know, some countries might have their own uh, specific interests, but um, one would want really to see uh, our uh, partners, uh, particularly in this issue, there's something uh, that, uh, brings uh, a, a lot of hype and, and a certain frenzy when it comes to, to the Congo. But um, so people need to calm down, uh, place the problem where it really is, and, and we all work together to, to, to find a solution.